while your muscles never run out of energy. Did you know your muscles only store enough energy for maybe a two second run, yet they never run out of energy? This energy for muscle contraction only comes from ATP, a molecule that has energy inside the phosphate bonds. But your muscles don't store very much ATP. So during exercise, more ATP is formed when energy from phosphocreatine, glucose, and fatty acids is added to ADP and phosphate. The fastest of the three to do so is phosphocreatine, which also has energy in its phosphate bond, but it's on accessible to the contractile proteins, so it's transferred to ADP and phosphate to form a new ATP, which the muscle proteins can use. As your muscles run low on phosphocreatine, you have to rely more on the slower glucose and even slower fatty acids. So it can seem like your muscles have run out of energy, but it's just coming from a slower source. And this gets even worse if you also run low on glucose, and mostly left with ATP slowly coming from fatty acids, which you and your muscles never run out of. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.